right, now we're nearly ready to start fishing. So we come to rule number one, selection. We'll start with the gear. Pretty much I'm gonna use the same rod all day. About a seven foot rod, two to three kilo rated rod. Probably six pound braid. I like the six pound, it wears nicely over time and it does pretty much everything. And a rod length for leader. I might change that leader size through the day. For the brim, I might go with a lighter leader, say four and six pound. Then when I go through to the flathead in the bass, I might go up to 14 and 16 pound. They live around structure, the flathead are toothy critters, but about a rod length is ideal. Then I want to look at my conditions, the depth of water, the fish I'm fishing for, and the size of the lure. And then I match that jig head with the lure itself. That's extremely important. That selection process there is the key. If your jig head is too small, you're gonna get short bites on your tail. And if it is too big, your tail's not gonna swim correctly. You need to be in the part of the water column where those fish are. For example, if we're fishing for brim over the weed, we need to be higher in the water column and we don't need something that's gonna plummet down. When you're fishing for flathead, there are bottom dwelling species. If you're not on the bottom, you're not in the game. So we need a larger head that's gonna get us down there, kick up a bit of sand and stay down there in the fish's face in the strike zone. The bass, well then we might use a thing called a beetle spin and we use our slow rolling retrieve. But when we mean selection, they're the things we're talking about and they are crucial. Rule number two is presentation. And to rig your soft plastic correctly is extremely important for that step. It must be rigged straight and you must be rigged with the selection that you've chosen. So I've got a nice little curl tail, triple tail grub here, and then I've got a jig head to suit. It's gonna come out perfectly about midway through the tail. That's about where you want it. It's gonna make that tail swim still really nicely, and I'm not gonna get short strikes. And it's very well suited in weight. So basically what I do is I line up that jig head with the tail, and I see where the gape of the hook's gonna come out. You can mark that if you want, it makes it a lot easier. Just put a little bit of a nick in the plastic. And then all you gotta do is go right through the center of your tail and make sure you come out where you marked it, keeping that hook point through the center the whole way and then feed it up and push it at the back of the jig head. And there you have it, it's rigged perfectly straight. And that's what you need, right in the center not too far back, not too far forward. And that's gonna present that soft plastic perfectly. Tie it on, swim it backwards and forwards through the water, make sure it doesn't spin, make sure it falls nicely. Then you know your presentation is 100%. After that, the most important step is location where it's going to find it.